their populations have been decimated, I mean, to the point of 99% loss of these, these species. The Indiana bat is federally endangered and the northern long-eared bat is federally threatened. Wind energy, although not a major contributor to those population declines, can be a part of the solution. Over the course of the summer 2018, we worked with the Illinois Bat Conservation Project. We found that nine of the 13 bat species that live in Illinois exist here. The northern long-eared and the Indiana were very low in frequency, but it encourages us that we can raise those numbers, especially of those protected species. We own a thousand acres here. We're taking those fields and restoring them to a more natural habitat planting trees, converting that land to bat roosting and foraging habitat, creating artificial wetlands, pollinator habitat, really interesting kind of ecological restoration type work. We are working together to restore forest land along the Embra River and today install these artificial bat habitats. The importance of getting these bat structures here in year one is to get something on the ground immediately so that we can provide one of the habitat components needed. These bats are forest specific, mostly oak hickory, but trees take time. We can't really make a prairie, and in our lifetimes we're not gonna make a forest, but we can start that process, and that's what we're after. A project of this scale is really unique this particular piece of land connects an existing state park and a conservation area. And so we've got a ton of acreage here that we're working to connect to provide a better habitat corridor for these threatened species. We had these acres we were going to restore at some point. With Apex and Hoofston, we're able to do it in five to eight years instead of maybe 40 years. In the environmental community, uh, what we did at Hoofston was pretty cutting edge. We're documenting or demonstrating no impact to these bats, but we're putting a lot more clean energy into the market that would not otherwise have, have made it to market. The partnerships that we've formed here can set a really great precedent for how the wind industry can work with local communities to get projects in the ground that benefit threatened species, that benefit local communities, and make a positive impact. <laughs>